The current policy is, is arguing for lower taxes for the the Berkeley Conservative Society to heighten the level of intellectual discourse on campus and increase the amount of political decency and discussion at Berkeley. Preventative care really comes down to cost, so can we reduce costs by making sure that people go to the doctor when they're just a little bit sick rather than extremely sick because treatment for minor issues is much, much less expensive than major interventional surgeries that are usually um, emergency. If we create this single-payer system, then we ensure that everybody gets equal coverage and everybody gets coverage to begin with. Not only that, but we'll also be able to cut down on drug prices because the government will essentially have all the bargaining power. They'll be able to say, we'll purchase this product from you at this price and you better sell it to us at this price because we've got 330 million people behind us. It's only in capitalistic countries and capitalistic economies where you find rags to riches stories and that's never more prevalent than in America. You don't hear about rags to riches stories in Cuba or Venezuela or communist Russia. So the idea of being poor, coming into the country poor and rising up to success through minimal government involvement and minimal regulation is really only found uh, through the free market capitalistic system. What we see is that the government needs to step in simply because we can't always trust an individual to be doing the thing that'll be best for society. They'll do the things that are best for themselves and they have every right to do so. But the government needs to step in when we look at crises like climate change or, or policies such as healthcare. These are just too big for individuals to take on by themselves, and corporations have not proved themselves reliable here. What makes the government so unique is that it's created by us. It gains its power from us. And so the government will naturally have this incentive and duty to make sure that we're living properly, that we're living well. Uh, so time is of the essence in regards to climate change ideology because we've already gone too far. We've already passed the point of no return for climate change. So the best thing we can do is try to remedy the world and the crisis as it is right now. So our idea is to implement carbon taxes and to force these corporations to um, switch over to green energy by investing more into green energy programs as a whole. No one ever uh, comments that uh government bureaucracy is the most efficient mechanism to produce innovation. If anything, the more government involvement in a society, the more innovation is stifled. Henry Ford didn't create the Ford enterprise through the help of the government. Elon Musk didn't create Tesla through a department of the government. So these people, these individuals who uh, create and innovate, uh, do so through the free market and through minimal govern uh, government regulation. This is Berkeley at its best. That's why we come to the university. These people are going to be helping to shape policy and perhaps lead the country in years to come.